Uh, so this artwork is about like an ancient city that's slowly uh, getting destroyed and dilapidated over the time as time goes on. And then, uh, so these three artworks show the passing of time of the city. Yeah. Uh, it shows that like, no matter like, how, how, how long something feels that it can be peaceful or how long something uh, feels that it can last, then sometimes uh, some uh, surprising things may happen. Like, even though you feel like something will be eternal, it may never be eternal, right? Uh, no matter what, something will happen to something that's impossible to keep something to be in stasis forever in time. Yeah. Doing this project, I learned that triptych, can, triptych is a very interesting form of art where you can actually somehow show uh, a somewhat like animation sort of style when you draw multiple pictures to show a passage of time and it's much easier to, uh, to like illustrate uh, paintings which are more complex, like paintings which you want to show. Like normally, if I draw one painting, it's quite hard to show that uh, time has passed or something has changed. Yeah, triptych has uh, The first panel I painted was that because this, like each of the paintings are like, complex and there are a lot of elements in each of the paintings, so I had to uh, make sure to differentiate like the front of the painting and the elements near the back of the painting. And then, uh, I didn't know how to do that at first, but then. Uh, my teacher Andrea told me that I can use like uh, highlights or shadows to show the effect of a forward and backward, which I used and then I found it quite helpful. Yeah, that's how I solved the issue. Mm, the three things I feel that I can improve on are that uh, I would still like to maybe add more in depth shadow or more uh, in depth highlight to make it pop out even more. Uh, maybe some parts I would like to sharpen it more, sharpen the edges. To make sure uh, it's not as much like spacing. And then the uh, third thing that I would like to improve on is that, uh, is that maybe I would like to add more elements next time if I want to redo it to show the passage of time. Yeah. And then the three things that I'm proud of is that I'm um, proud of how I managed to use like, some of the colors to show like the tree. Uh, instead of just using a shade of pink, I use many different colors. Like, uh, and then another thing that I'm proud of is that I managed to incorporate like uh, uh, same color for all three of them, like a central color, which is like a purplish or blue color. And then the last thing that I'm proud of is that uh, like the overall painting, it looks very connected and that all the elements will be in place. Yeah.